All things work out so perfect. All things work out so perfect. Hello, everybody. Welcome to day three. Let me turn off Chris and Teeb, but I highly recommend you check them out. I don't chase, I attract. I don't chase, I attract. Okay, let me turn him off. <laughs> but um, he's great. I listen to him a lot. He's on Spotify. Um, he's on uh, isn't it Pandora, people in the US listen to. Um, and he's on YouTube, Chris and Teeb. So Chris, and then apostrophe N, and then next word Teeb, T-E-E-B. And he's got two albums called Manifestation 1, Manifestation 2. And they're just so good. Like that one just played a little bit of I don't chase, I attract. And the previous song was Everything Works Out So Perfect, Everything Works Out So Perfect. And um, uh, Every Day I Wake Up Feeling Good is another one. And, you know, if you're repeating those to yourself a lot, you're, you're programming, you're reprogramming your mind. So I think it's a super simple way of achieving your dreams, which is what we're here to do on day three today. This is going to be powerful. <clears throat> okay, let me just make sure I'm in the right place. And comment below. Say hi to me. Yes, I am here. Okay, great. Oh, turn off my speaker. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to share my slides. Okay. Um, yeah, today's going to be good. It's going to be very good. Share screen. And. Hmm. I don't want Facebook, oops. I want my presentation. I want the very first slide. There we go. And present. <sighs> Welcome to Dream It, Believe It, Achieve It, day three. We are here to achieve it today, achieve it. Um, so I'm gonna share some practical skills with you about achieving your dreams. Okay, so let me start with my intention. My intention is that you become a doer of this work, not just a hearer of it. You might be tuning into me and saying, oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's great information. But information does not bring transformation. Doing the work does. So in order to achieve it, you've got to do the work. So action is necessary to achieve your dreams. Show up and comment for a gift on Friday. I'm going to share a gift with everybody that has been showing up and commenting either live or on the replay. So be sure to comment so that if you've commented three days in a row, you can put an emoji, then you will be in with a chance to um, get your gift. You will act not in with a chance. You will actually get your gift <laughs> because I love giving gifts. Have you checked out the gifts I've given so far? Some really nice ones in the email. I really like the self-love meditation. Let me know. Have you listened to it? It's short and it's another pick-me-up. It's a really good way of, um, you know, cultivating that self-love, which is just one of the most important activities that we can do for the world, not just for ourselves, because the more you love yourself, the more love you have to give outside of you. So see it as an act um, of, uh, you know, being a good citizen <laughs> of the world is to listen to uh, self-love meditation. And why would you not? Why would you not love yourself? Because um, you're an incredible being, magical being. You're not perfect. Nobody is. Definitely not me. We all have a shadow side. If you listen to my live stream this morning, listen, if you read my blog, sorry, I did a blog. I was going to live stream it, but I ended up writing a blog about uh, the dark side of manifestation. And uh, I mentioned in that blog that we all have a shadow side. There's, we all have parts of us that we're not super crazy about and we would prefer we didn't have those, but that's just the joys of being human and learning to accept those parts of us and, and work through them, you know, especially if that shadow side, the implication of it um, hurts others, then we definitely want to take responsibility for healing that. But there's always going to be a shadow side, a shadow, like a, a wounded side to us that, uh, it's not really the higher self that we want to operate from, um, but really our higher self part of it is um, full, full self-acceptance. So there you go. Hey, Betty, welcome. Okay, so 
let me start with a quote from our lovely Neville. And I thought I would put a photo of Neville instead of me <laughs> on the slides today so you can see what he looked like. Quite a handsome man, I guess, right? Um, so I love this. He says, "You when you are the sculptor, when a sculptor looks at a formless piece of marble, he sees buried within its formless mass his finished piece of art, right? It's inside, it's inside. Just like it's inside you. The sculptor, instead of making his masterpiece, merely reveals it by removing that part of the marble which hides his conception. The same applies to you. I love that because it, it's a reminder that you are sculpting yourself to become that version of you that attracts the reality. Remember, creation is finished. And what you need to do is match your beliefs and your state, match your energetic state with the reality that you want. You know, it's not that difficult, but there's we have kind of resistance to it because we're so attached to our current stories. So I'm going to give you some great strategies to help you to practice that. So living from the end, that's one. And actually, uh, Neville Goddard, one of his 12 books, and he's Count his so much information that he's left in the world, um, you know, uh, lots of talks as well as books and, you know, documents that he wrote. So he talks about living from the end and that's what you need to do. Don't think of what you want, think from what you want, from what you want. It is done, it is done. And that's why, you know, everybody that has shared their, uh, what they want to manifest with me, I say it is done, it is done because it is done, it really is. And the more that you can step into the belief that it's done, it's not like something out there that you're going to get in the future. It's shifting into the state, right? So it's like going to the other room in the house, the room where it is done. <laughs> Use your imagination. I haven't had a chance to talk much about imagination. That is something that Neville Goddard talks about a lot. I mean, that's how we manifest. That's how we create that reality is using our imagination. So um, we all have one. So use it to the max and have fun with it. So here's the three techniques I'm going to share. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to copyright the first one because I invented it <laughs> oh, yesterday. <laughs> the lucky lane technique. I'll share that in a moment. The other one, the messaging technique. And the third one is the this is how I did it technique. These are just some techniques, by the way. There are many, many more techniques. But these ones are, I think, good ones to give you for helping you to achieve your goals, your dreams. The lucky lane technique. <laughs> Find a magical place, set a timer, or a walk length. You could say, OK, from here to that lamppost down there, I'm going to be in the state and really get into that imagination and, you know, be deluded, like really pretend that I am that person and live from the end, live the end, meaning that it's already done. So literally, now, the reason I came up with the Lucky Lane technique is because that's what I'm doing. I, I'm always playing with different techniques and I really like this one. <clears throat> Tony Robbins, actually, uh, fame, he's the godfather of... Um, of coaching in case you haven't heard of him you I'm sure you have <laughs> comment yes below if you have and um uh, Tony Robbins uh he has a technique where you uh do a 15 minute walk every morning I was doing that for a while and I was giving that to clients as well it's a good exercise you spend the first five minutes just being present getting present on your walk so noticing the flowers noticing fields noticing dogs noticing whatever being present. You spend the second five minutes in gratitude, grateful for everything in your life that, that you can think of, right? So five minutes of gratitude, you set a timer. And the third five minutes, you spend in the state of the wish fulfilled, in the end state. So you could try that. That's 15 minutes, right? But, you know, we don't always have the time, etc. So I like the looky lane technique because... <laughs> I actually, on my, I, I always walk my dog, as you pro probably know, since if you've seen any of my live streams. And um, I discovered this lane, this this beautiful walkway that I didn't know existed, not far, not far from me. They had kind of opened it to the public, a new kind of a um, shortcut through behind the International Labour Organization, actually, and uh, a few other kind of embassies. I live, uh, I live near those, and. Um, it's really beautiful. It's like, it's, it's, uh, yeah, just a really, really nice place. I thought, wow, I feel like I'm on holidays here when I, when I found it. So I like to go there now. And I was joking with my friend and I, I called it Lucky Alley, but then I realized, no, Lucky Lane, 
lucky lane. That's a laneway. So it's uh, so I jokingly say it's my lucky lane because that's where I go and I do my manifestations. So that's a simple technique, but but find a place that um, you know where you think. Okay, here's my lucky lane. Here's the place where I'm going to um, be in that end state. Honestly, I had also, I told you guys about the wishing tree that I had when I was a child. I also had a den and I had the Virgin Mary. I had a picture of the Virgin Mary and it was kind of, yeah, it was just, again, a place where I was going to pray. And I mean, I didn't know what manifestation was, but really, again, guys, I was manifesting as a child without knowing what manifestation was. Um, so that was a den, so you can have a lucky den if you like. <laughs> but um, I like the lucky lane one because you can walk and just decide on a certain stretch of that lane for, you know, um, uh, Esther Hicks, Abraham talks about uh, 17 seconds being the time needed to be in the state. So you can do it for 20 seconds, right? For example, or 17. Um, but you know, it's more the daily habit of doing it that makes a difference. Um, and, you know, I think setting a timer is maybe a bit distracting, probably, you know, walk from here to the lamppost is a good idea, right? So what do you think of that? I think that's a great technique, because you've got to put this into practice in order to achieve your dreams. Technique number two, the messaging technique. So I love this one as well. Try this out. Seriously, try this out at the end of this call. Let me know how you get on with it because it's so powerful. It feels weird. It does feel weird. But then if you get into it, you will love it. So send yourself a voice memo on your phone. Um, pretending that you're sharing. You can pretend you're sharing with me or um, with a friend or a loved one, you know, whoever, who would you tell first, whatever you're manifesting, who would you let, who, who would you let them know? Who would you let, who would you let know? <laughs> so I actually asked that to a client recently and she said she would let me know. I would be the first to know. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to role play it then. So I sent her back a message pretending that she had achieved that, what she's manifesting, what she's working on manifesting. And um, she said it was really great that she listened to it several times. So I love that. So um, feel free if you want to share your manifestation with me, uh, you know, act like pre acting as if and um, well, acting from the, the wish fulfilled. And I'll happily reply telling you how delighted I am that you have achieved whatever it is that you want to achieve. But yeah, you can send yourself a lengthy voice memo. And I actually did this um uh, pretending I was voice memoing a friend and I started to talk about the implications yeah let me go through this list so tell them your wish is fulfilled in the message share how excited you are like really get into that state and share the implications of that manifestation so I started to talk about oh my god you know so that means that you know and I started to to list and then I was like, oh, my God, you know, I, got, I really got excited about it. So so that was very powerful. I would highly recommend doing that. That is the messaging technique. OK, let me know which one. Hi, guys. Julia is here as well. Good morning, Julia. Delighted that you are making it live, even though it's very early for you. Um, the third one is the this is how I did it technique. This is how I did it. another great one. So have fun in your journaling, write yourself a letter from that version of you. I, mean, I hesitate to even say future self because it's your current self, but the different state, the state where the wish is fulfilled. And you say, this is how I did it. So you're writing yourself from, from that self that has the wish fulfilled. You could go a step further and create a masterclass to teach others. This is how I did it. This is how I healed myself. This is how I made that amount of money. This is how I found the love of my life. This is how I did it. Have fun with it, really, pretending that it's already done and you will get into the energy of it. So these are really practical but useful tools. I'm going to share with you already that I'm going that I'm running a 10-week program that I'll share with at the at the end of these slides. And I'm requiring everybody to create a masterclass on what they're manifesting inside that 10-week uh, program. Because these practical skills are what will make a big difference. All of these I require, all of these uh, strategies uh, to be completed inside the 10-week program. Because you got to do the work. You got to do the work. And we have some kind of resistance to doing that work, which I'll share about in a moment, uh, why that might be. Uh, or you could then write a book sharing how you did it. 
So there's a, there is a famous woman and I wish I could remember her name, but there is a woman who wrote a book and um, she was saying everything that uh, she had achieved and she, it all came through. The book was basically um, her imagination and everything came true. And it's, it's quite famous that he says, I'm listening as I'm driving, stop the car to write this text. Oh, you're so kind, Betty. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Nina's here as well. Definitely trying that. That's great, Nina. That's great. It's so powerful. Let me know how you get on with it. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, that's the third. Well, do you know what? It's uh, There's many techniques there. There's writing yourself a letter, creating the masterclass, or writing a book. So it's the this is how I did a technique, but you decide all the different ways that you can do that. Voice memoing is another way. And, you know, play with it. Have fun with this because... Yeah, it really makes a difference. You know, there's other, you know, you can record yourself um, affirming that you have it all now and you can listen back to that. You can listen to it every night before falling asleep to really get into the state. Remember the state akin to sleep, which I shared about yesterday, sats, just before you doze off to sleep, that's where you're suggestible. So if you are listening to an audio uh, where your dream has been achieved, then it will really help to shift you will help your dreams to come true, literally. So those are the techniques. The looky lane technique. <laughs> Sorry, I just love my, my, my term. But I'm going to trademark that, the looky lane technique. <laughs> the messaging technique and the this is how I did it technique. It doesn't quite roll off your tongue like the looky lane technique. But I want you all to find a looky lane. Take a photo, share your looky lane with me. Actually, I live streamed from my looky lane. <laughs> Last night, I just like saying the term lucky lane. Have you noticed? <laughs> oh my God. So I live streamed from there because it was a full moon last night, but it was pitch dark. So the live stream is, it's more like an audio because you cannot see me, but I was sitting on a bench in my lucky lane last night, looking at the full moon. It was very powerful. Okay. Ah, the dark side of manifestation. If we don't know about this, we can hold ourselves back. So I did write a blog about this. It actually stemmed from a conversation that I had with an old client and she was sharing, she's, she's been following the replays because this is not in her time zone. Hi to all the replay viewers. <laughs> and, um, you know, she was talking about how, you know, where she had, there was something that she was manifesting in her life and the two times where she was really successful at it, um, she ended up then backing off because people in her life um, basically, I guess, showed her that they, and that's what happens. You know, you if you're showing up as a different person, people don't like that. They're used to the version of you that was there before. And it's suddenly, if you're, you know, shifting your state, shifting your role, you can get some um, lashback for want of a better term. Um, so that is very real. You know, as we up level, we're going to encounter that. We're also going to encounter um, people feeling triggered by our success. Um, there's that is the reality of it, and um, so it's not all roses. And it's because of the law of polarity that there's always going to be. Um, it's not all going to be light. You know, the future. You know, um, I'm sorry. I don't want to sound like a, the voice of misery here, is saying that you know you you're not just going to have a perfect life in the future. Now, you can though, because if you know how to manage your uh, emotions and manage your state then you're 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 able to navigate anything you know um I can share the work of Byron Katie is such a powerful tool and when I was I certified in that process it's a question you identify and question your beliefs and um I went to I did uh oh gosh four nine-day workshops and one four-day workshop with Byron Katie and oh sorry my dog's barking I don't know if you can hear when the dog next door barks, my dog barks. But um, so after the second nine day workshop, you're immersed. You 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 don't have your phone. You're you're really just immersed in questioning your beliefs. It's like whew, it's hardcore, but it's fabulous because you then release the beliefs that don't serve you. And after the second nine day event, I came back home to Geneva, and um, it was in Los Angeles. I think that she used to do them in LA and in Germany. And um, I remember thinking like, God, you can give me anything because I'm just so free that, you know, nothing is going to shake me because basically I learned surrender and, you know, navigating any kind of stress. 
And was it the next day that I got a call from my sister saying that she needed a family member to donate a kidney to her? And yeah, my, my world got completely shaken up. I wasn't quite as evolved as I thought I was. I thought I was at the start. I was like, yeah, me, I can do that. I can do anything. I don't experience stress in my life anymore. And then reality hit. Like, oh, Neve, you're not quite there yet. <laughs> but yeah, that was in 2010, I think, when that started, that whole process. I donated the kidney in 2011. And um, all went well in the end. But it was an incredibly stressful time. But I'm sharing that just because... Um, you know, there's always going to be situations in our lives that are going to be challenging. But yeah, since then, you know, I've grown in strength of character. And, you know, I, I do know that we can literally manifest if, if we have fear around something. And this is what I shared on day one. You know, if you're fearing something in your future, like a surgery, like um, a potential uh, uh, dangerous consequences, or that you can just visualize and manifest that it's all going to go well and choose to believe that it's going well. So with Using the power of manifestation, which is really self-coaching, um, you can navigate that dark side very well. But I do want to share that if you don't have the tools to navigate those dark moments, then it's going to be really dark. Um, you know, you, there's many people that have achieved great success and if, if they, they just weren't able to handle it because what comes with it right especially I mean there's so many celebrities it's it's so sad you know they just couldn't handle the fame but if you if you learn the tools in order to handle it then I mean in the coaching industry it's so common it's so common that uh, people who achieve success they're they're going to get hated they're going to get judged criticized um, have bad things written about them said about them it's so common um so it's just it's just something that you know you have to be very strong and learn how to not let that affect you because and this is the most important thing that I want to say is you'll know it subconsciously and you'll hold yourself back you'll sabotage yourself from manifesting what it is you want to manifest out of self-protection and this is why this is a really important slide because I want you to be aware of that if you think why am I not manifesting it? Why am I not manifesting it? It's good to look at, well, is there something I'd be nervous of if I actually achieved my dreams? Personally, I always said, oh, well, I don't care if people are judging me and criticizing me, and but I actually do. <laughs> Again, I'm not as evolved. Sometimes we're not as evolved as we think we are. And so in order to protect ourselves from the consequences, we self-sabotage or we get sick or, you know, because we're afraid that, the consequences of shining. And uh, like I said in my blog this morning, especially if you've had some experience in the past, I was bullied quite heavily uh, as a child um, by, yeah, in, in school. I was I was in a school and we were a wealthier family than it was a country school. Um, we weren't super wealthy by any means, but in, in where, where we were was uh, in school initially was not uh, was an area where I was yeah <laughs> my mother loved to send me to school uh, Shirley Temple ringlets and dresses and of course I didn't fit in and I was bullied and it was really I got the message it's dangerous to shine it's dangerous to stand out it's dangerous to have wealth what do you think I do then <laughs> subconsciously when when wealth comes in <laughs> sabotage you know because uh, there's that real deep kind of um you know that that's that memory uh, in, in our body goes deep so just be aware of that because that can be a reason why the manifestation isn't happening there you go <laughs> okay I have five questions for you that I want to share. Let me know if this resonates as well. Quiva, you can you can hear the dog. You can hear Sasha barking. <laughs> Looky Lane, yes, yes. Look, Lookily Lane, you wrote. I like that too. Lookily Lane. I'm going for a walk down Lookily Lane. <laughs> okay, brilliant. I have to go now, but I'll watch the replay. Great, Julia. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, yes, watch the replay, Julia, because this part is important. There are five important questions. Now, you don't have to type. You can if you want. You can type uh, in the comments your answers, um, or you can just reflect internally on the answers to these questions, because these will help you to know if you're doing what it takes in order to achieve your dreams. Question one, have you spent some time today consciously manifesting your desired state? The state that you're going to manifest your dreams from. Have you been there today? Have you visited that state today? Think about that. Because if the answer is no, ask yourself, well, why not? 
Isn't that what works? Why would, why would I not do that? Don't I want to achieve my dreams? I know you do. Question two, do you have unshakable faith and conviction that you will achieve your goals? Is it like really, really rock solid? You know, there could be a little bit of doubt there, but is it pretty strong? Are you pretty like, oh yeah, hell yes, I'm going to. Check in, check, check. Or is there a lot more work to do in order to cultivate more certainty, which you can do. <laughs> Question three, have you spent some time today in meditation? So I sip my coffee, can I answer that question. <laughs> Remember the importance of meditation when you get into that drowsy state? <laughs> so daily meditation is very important. Question four, do you feel confident dealing with your negative thoughts, doubts, and feelings? Think about that. You know, I talked about, you know, the challenges that we encounter and when you're up leveling, do you feel confident to deal with those challenges? You know, you're going to achieve your dreams, right? So do you feel confident with the, the dark side of that, uh, with being able to manage that? If you're going to become a famous rock star, for example, do you feel confident that you can deal all of the judgment, criticism, the fan, the, you know, not having any privacy? Because <laughs> I'm sure there's people in here who want to be pop stars. <laughs> there is at least one, actually, that has signed up. Yes, definitely should be a pop star. Okay. That is question four. Question five, the final question. Do you have access to a mentor who can help you to identify and overcome your blind spots, you know, the beliefs and the self-sabotage and help you to navigate your upper limits? Upper limits, by the way, the term upper limits is a, that term was coined by Gay Hendricks. He's got a book which I would, I would recommend. It's called The Big Leap. And it's when you're taking those leaps, when you're up-leveling in your life. Um, that you can encounter upper limits. I get it. I'll be totally honest, guys. I had it yesterday. <laughs> I was just on fire on Monday. I had such a great, Mon no, Tuesday, Tuesday, I had such a great day. And then um, yesterday I started to, to feel unwell. And you know what the crazy thing is? And I had to cancel clients earlier because um, I just thought, wow, I want to uh, keep my energy for this training. So I, post I postponed the clients. And um but bizarrely, it's completely shifted just before going live. I was like, oh my God, I feel so much better. <laughs> but that happens, you know, I get kind of sinus issues. And um, yeah, the physical thing is still there for me. When I'm shining, when I'm feeling that excitement and fire of what I'm creating and what's to come. And I just, I know it'll pass, but it's there for me, you know, the body, it's, uh, we store everything in the body. So, um, and I know how to manage it as well. So do you have access to somebody? Because I can tell you that if you're really serious about achieving your dreams, then having a mentor is going to make all the difference to get there faster. So I can help you with it. I did tell you that I'm going to tell you about a powerful 10-week program that is starting in a few weeks. Not immediately, I'll explain why. It's called Manifestation Mastery. It's a 10-week program, a powerful 10-week program to help you to achieve your greatest dreams. So you would join this if you have something specific you want to achieve, or even if there's nothing specific and you just want to learn brilliant mindset tools and manifestation tools, like everybody should know this. Like I said, I want my kids to join my program. <laughs> they wouldn't, but, you know, <laughs> they hear it from me, um, you know, all these tips and you know, it's it's really important to uh, to be aware of all of these skills because we don't get it from, you know, from TV. You know, all we get from TV is fear and, you know, on the news, you know, why you should be scared and um, why you need to buy this and this and this and that um, in order to feel better. Nothing on the television will tell you you have the power to shift your state and create the reality you want. Have you ever heard that on TV? <laughs> so it's important to, you know, to be in this, to be in it. And um, if you're immersed in it for 10 weeks, it will make a big difference. So this is it. It's starting. The first, so here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to release the lessons Tuesday evening, every Tuesday evening. And then you have a week to go through the lesson yourself. And then there's a weekly coaching call. So the first call is, no, the first lesson is released on the 26th of September. That's the day I arrive in Orlando, Florida. And that's why, because I was going to start it sooner and I thought, I don't want to start a program and then I'm going to be away a week. And, you know, the I wanted to flow for 10 weeks solid. Also, this is great because it gives you the, the chance to save up for this program. 
and prepare for it. So um, it's 10 weeks of lessons. You get one in-depth lesson every week. The, it's really going to be Neville Goddard focused mainly. Um, and then the following Tuesday, when I'm back, I get back from Orlando on the Monday, um, the following Tuesday, you get your first group coaching call. And in the group coaching call, um, yeah, the first lesson will be sent Tuesday, 26th of September. First coaching session will be Tuesday, the 3rd of October. And in that group coaching call, I will be helping you to get clear on your vision, get clear on your actions, and also a lot of accountability. Are you doing the daily do's, the daily strategies? Are you, you know, making an action plan for your manifestation, um, looking at your your um, your mind, your self-talk, self-love? There's so many things that I'll be helping you with. And, you know, when it's in a group setting, you benefit from what I share with others as well, the advice that I give to others. And, and there you'll get to talk about well you know uh, it's not working for me and then I can give you some some feedback on on how you can um, shift your manifestation practice for example in order to um, believe this that belief to make that to turn up the volume on the belief will make a big difference so the topics that I'm going to be sharing and there's a lot more but this is you know just a, a few uh, an outline of it so the week one lesson will be vision identification getting really clear you, you got to know exactly what it is you want it's like in the GPS like if you can't if you're going to a destination you've got to know where it is you've got to put the coordinates in <laughs> so it's the same with uh, your vision getting clear in every area of your life Oh, self-concept. I lost the T. The T is gone missing. It's gone rogue. So that should be self-concept, point number two. Self-concept. I shared about self-concept yesterday. And that is really, you've got to become that person now. You've got to become the person who um, who has achieved the vision now. And I'll be going deep into that. So you will, in week two, have clearly typed your self-concept. I use Google Docs and you will have your folder, your own folder, and you will have written what your self-concept is. And you'll be living from there. Number three is a lot around strategy, you know, choosing a practice where you're going to implement. Number four is affirmations. Affirmations are so powerful if they're used correctly. And affirmations, there's, there's a lot that I'm going to share on that. And you will have your own customized affirmations that will work for you. And just those daily, they're like daily reminders that you can either recite or you can write them down. Number five is I'm um, going to talk about consciousness, sats, and state shifting, which I touched on yesterday, but I'll be going deeper into them. I mean, like I like I shared with you guys before, uh, Neville Goddard has just, yeah, there's 12 books worth and, and I'm just devouring it all. But I wanted to share it in a way with you guys using slides as well, um, lessons that you can really understand in simple terms, because sometimes it's a little bit complicated the way um, that, that he shares the things that he shares. And number six, the law of assumption, which I haven't sh which I haven't really touched on, but that's about assuming, assuming that your wish is fulfilled. But I'll be sharing in a lot more detail about that. Number seven, re receiving. Again, I haven't had time in these three days to, to touch on that, but you've got to get into that receiving mode, not into desperate clingy energy, but open receiving mode. And I'll be sharing techniques on how to do that and how to connect with your feminine energy, which is where that receiving happens. Number eight is the relief week. Number eight is the relief technique. And that's also another fabulous technique for manifestation. Number nine, I did touch on revision a bit. Fabulous tool. Oh, that will really be great for your relationships. I might actually switch that around and do a revision sooner because you will, you will really see the benefits of revision for uh, your relationships. And number 10 is living from the end. Like really um solidly living from the end so those are the topics guys you will be manifestation maidens at the end of it like it will really help you um you will leave the 10-week program really with a, a an in-depth understanding that will serve you for life and obviously it's yours to keep you know you'll have access to the content for life so you can always come back to it to to get your mind um in the right you know where it should be in order for your manifestations to to manifest Okay, so the group coaching sessions as well. In these group coaching sessions, I'll help you to get clearer about your vision. That's so important. 
to identify and overcome your limiting beliefs. Like I said, I was a certified facilitator of the work of Byron Katie. Actually, somebody challenged me on that a few days ago. They were saying, why do you tell people you decertified from that process <laughs> as if it was a bad thing? It was my courageous decision in 2016 after being a certified facilitator of that fabulous process called the work. It was my decision to um, decertify because it was too constrictive for me. I had to follow rules and and I had discovered coaching and what was possible. And I was like, oh, I'm afraid I'll say the wrong thing and I'll, you know, get my uh, wrist tapped because, you know, they're quite, which, you know, I respect uh, that, you know, that they're, if you're a certified facilitator, then you don't say that, you say this. And um, I just want to be free and, you know, to to speak from my heart and speak my truth and from my experience. So, um, so I made the decision. And I still talk very highly of the process. I just you know, I'm not certified, so I'm free. <laughs> okay, uh, I will help you to firm up your affirmations and other actions. So again, the affirmations, um, that's, you know, and to, to help you to get affirmations that are going to work for you and other actions, like different strategies that will work for you, depending on your um, time, your schedule, uh, how much time you can invest into it, etc., so that it can be most impactful for you. And I will help you to increase your self-confidence and your belief in yourself. Because sometimes we're, we just forget how awesome we are and we need somebody in our corner to remind us and, you know, to challenge us to really, um, to bring the best out in ourselves. And I love to do that for my clients. Plus, you will learn, of course, from other group members. Okay. The T is missing. Sounds wow. Yes, it is wow. It really is wow, Kriva. It's... Um, one of the most uh, well okay the probably the program that i um that i'm so, super excited about i know that everybody that signs up will get great results because it's yeah <laughs> pretty impressive okay so the investment for this if you're inside the fired up coaching academy don't worry or if you're a vip client of mine you get this for free it's included otherwise you and by the way um uh, if you want to know about the fired up coaching academy or working with me privately as a vip client then message me i can share how etc in the link but this program is 1997 dollars pay in full or three payments of 777 dollars it's an investment that will serve you for life now there is no private coaching in it but if you sign up by tuesday the 5th of september um, so I put 5th of September because I know a lot of people are catching replays over the weekend and I want you to, you to know about this and get the time to, you know, fast action. When you decide if something really resonates with you, like I shared my story of seeing shred on the wall in neon when I really wanted to sign up for that 12 week, um, 12 week ultimate shred that I signed up for, um, for the gym and fitness program. You know, if you have that kind of a feeling about this program, go for it because you're being guided because that totally changed my life and has helped me with client work and will continue to in my future. So it was actually a lot more. It wasn't just a 12 week program. It went a lot further than that. It's continuing to, you know, I'm going to compete on stage. And that's as a result of that, just following that um uh, breadcrumb is that what they're called <laughs> you know so so trust that feeling if you feel a calling to this then trust it and the great news is that um even though you won't benefit from the fast action taking bonus if you if you sign up later but um you have time you have time to you have uh time to manifest the investment for this and or to back yourself and say i'm going to manifest 777 and i trust that through the program i'm going to manifest the other amounts as well and um really go all in on learning how you can manifest so there you go that's a program i'm really excited about it just to remind you what it is, it's called Manifestation Mastery, 10 weeks of powerful lessons, 10 weeks of group coaching. It starts, um, you get the first lesson on Tuesday, the 26th of September. There will be a private Facebook group as well, by the way. Uh, first group coaching session will be Tuesday, the 3rd of October. So honestly, by Christmas, you'll be a new person. <laughs> You'll be, you'll be so immersed in being that person that has the wish fulfilled. Those are the topics I'm going to share. There is a weekly group coaching session. And if you sign up by Tuesday, oh, by the way, here's what I want to do. And this is informal. I'll cut this part out of the recording. <laughs> the first two people that sign up, instead of them being 30-minute coaching calls with me, they're going to be 60-minute coaching calls with me. 
I love fast action takers, the ones who say, I'm in, I'm going to do this. I'm going to reward you with four hour long sessions. We can cover a lot in an hour. An hour with me is long because I'm very laser focused. I have a laser coaching certification, one of my many coaching certifications, but I learned how to in 20 minutes really um, go all in and help a client to get a result in that time. So I'm very results focused as well. So an hour is long and you can use them um, from September, these calls, or you can have one a month. You decide whatever works best for you. I would recommend having one foundational call to help you to get clear and, and to build on what you're visioning um, to change your life. There you go. So I think that that is, you'll be flying on stage. So you will. <laughs> yeah, speaking the truth, Cleva. Yeah, the speaking the truth is very important to me. And I really encourage my clients to do that as well. And, you know, to speak your truth, like it's it's always checking in what's not what the they advise you to do or the marketers or the the the, the ones who, you know, um, the academia or it's like it should be done that way. Drop all of that and just be true to you. And you will naturally attract people um, that resonate with your way of being because you're not being yourself if you're thinking, okay, I need to do that or have that certification or have that um, in order to, um, uh, you know, get get clients. For example, if you're being a coach, now the Fired Up Coaching Academy has an optional coaching certification. That's my year long. Um, there's currently four programs that I've organized inside the Fired Up Coaching Academy. It's a year long program. There's uh, two calls per week that you get so much uh, uh, support from me on a weekly basis for a whole year. Plus you get this for free. You get the 10 by 10 body transform program for free, which I'm redoing. I'm making it into um, 10. It's currently 30 lessons. I'm making them all my programs to be 10 lessons. Um, and so I'm condensing it and I'm focusing a lot on uh, gut health, hormonal balance, and um, yeah, just getting in the best shape of your life really. Um, I've learned a lot about that. Um, there's the 10 by 10. There's a coaching, a 10 week coaching program that's coming up in October where you learn to be a coach. And in order to get the certification, then you would have to have uh, the requirement is 50, uh, 50 coaching calls that you would, you know, you would log in so that you're practiced as a coach and you would record hmm, at least two of those where I listen in and check, are you you're really like, can I certify you as a fired up coach? And that's how certification happens. That's optional. You don't have to do that. You can just learn it all and, you know, decide what you want to do. Um, yeah, that's it. And there's also online business building. That's another 10 week program as well, because you got to learn marketing, you got to learn sales. There's, there's a lot to learn if you want to put yourself out there as a coach. And I, I'm really, I love to, um, to help people to to become coaches and because I know especially women not only women men too really just want to have an impact in this world and when you know this information and you realize this is a total game changer this is life changing you want other people to know about it too so let's spread this information throughout the world so that people um, can navigate life better have the tools to navigate life better and to live less in fear more in trust and to to know that power that infinite power that you have inside of you the more that you practice manifestation the more you will discover that power so I hope I get the chance to help you to go deeper with that okay message me if you want to be one of the first two and um yeah lost the connection to drop in great session oh sorry Nancy you could catch the catch the parts that you missed in the replay but um, I, I want to say that I'm going to do a Q&A. Originally, I said it would be tomorrow. I'm going to do the Q&A on Monday. So send me your questions so that I can answer them on Monday. I'll do that on Monday at 4 p.m. Swiss time. Um, so I'll be going live to do a Q&A. If you've got any questions related to my program, related to manifestation, related to the content from the past three days, then message me with that and I'll just share the answers or show up live and you can um, put your questions in the, the comments. But I will be doing a Q&A on Monday. Um, I think that's everything, guys. I have absolutely loved delivering this content. Thank you for the feedback that you've given me. Um, I know it's shifting people and um, I'm excited to help you to continue to shift and let's uh, achieve our greatest dreams. You are worthy of that and deserving of it. So do the work, do the work in order to make it happen. Lots of love. Okay, how do I get out of here? Thank <laughs> you.
Uh, uh, stop share. That's it. Yes. <laughs> Bye.